A winter storm is a common experience for those traveling Saskatchewan highways in January. But the blizzard that rolled over the province Monday was a different kind of affair. The combined snow and gusting wind made for next to no visibility, and it moved so quickly that many travelers were caught off guard. In Swift Current, Ree Olson says a drive home that normally takes her six minutes took more than two hours. It was a mess. I couldn't get any. I couldn't get anywhere, and I couldn't see even the yield sign. It was half a block away. Couldn't see it. Couldn't see the house beside me. It was total whiteout. Olson's experience was not unusual. Some travelers were forced to abandon their plans and even their vehicles overnight as the snow moved in and created whiteout conditions. No surprise when gusts over 100 kilometers an hour were recorded in some areas, according to Environment Canada. The Saskatchewan Highway Hotline map was lit up in red as roads across the province were deemed unsafe and forced closed. That forced many travelers to find a place to hunker down, if only for a few hours. In Hague, 80 people were put up in a community youth center and a nearby school. Emergency services told CBC News that ditches and roadsides were littered with abandoned cars. As the sun rose this morning, some vehicles were able to get back on the road. Other vehicles were stuck in place, waiting for tow trucks to unlodge them or for a battery boost after a frigid night. As work crews continue clearing the snow from roadways, things are getting back to normal. And for residents, the cleanup of the remaining heavy, crunchy snow begins. Alexander Kwan, CBC News, Regina.